Hi, it's me again, Nekomat Sanpai. We are now on the third part or case number three of our lesson in areas under the normal curve. This time, we are going to deal with two z-scores or z-values. Take a look at the figures here. You have here the first figure wherein both uh, z-values are negative. And on the right side, figure 2, both z-scores are positive. Now, in this case, we're going to subtract. There's only one operation, that is subtraction of areas. Now, in solving the area, you need to um, remember these important things. Okay, number 1, when you solve for the area, it is always larger area minus the smaller area. So that the answer would be positive. No? Because there is no a negative area. Okay? Then number two, if you're going to write the probability notation in your final answer, okay, you're going to write the z-scores here. From left to right, as you can see in the figure above, now you have negative z sub 1, okay, then negative z sub 2, alright? And the uh, inequality symbols are always less than, okay? So you just follow this format, no? z sub 1 for the positive z values, you have z sub 1, then on the right, you have z sub 2. Okay, now let us proceed to examples. Example number one, find the area between negative 2.5 and, and negative 1.2. Okay, so first step is you need to locate these z-scores. So first the z-score is you have negative 2.5, so that is between negative 2 and negative 3. So you have here negative 2.5. Next, you have negative 1.2. So that's between negative 1 and negative 2. And that's near negative 1.5. So let's just say your negative 1.2 is here. After that, you draw a line through the two z-scores. Then shade that area between these z-scores. Okay, between. Alright, so this area here. Okay. So, what you're going to do now is to solve, no? To find the way how to solve this area, the shaded region. Okay, remember that our Z table is always from the areas here are always from 0 to a certain value, z value, certain z, z value. So how are we going to solve this shaded region or shaded area? So we will always start with 0. Okay. And in solving, in finding the area, this will be our basis, no? Then the z, given z values. So you start from... Uh, the larger of course the larger area here is from 0 to 2 point negative 2.5 i think you can see it clearly right no from 0 to negative 2.5 is the larger area and the smaller area is from 0 to negative 1.5 uh, 1.2 okay so you subtract these areas so from 0 to negative 2.5, okay, what is that area? So you're going to use the z table now. Okay, so for z equals negative 2.5, the area is, if you're going to write that into three digit form, just add 0. So that makes it 2.50. So look for the first two digits. You have here 2.5 and since the last digit is 0 so that means 
the area is this. Uh, 0 0.4938. Okay, you look for the area from 0 to negative 1.2. So in our Z table, you're going to look for Okay, that's one negative one point two three digit four zero, so that makes it negative one point twenty. So look for one point twenty. So here you have one point two, then last digit is zero, so that means that's the area from zero to negative one point twenty point three eight four nine. Okay. So why don't we shade that part? So say for example, okay, orange, let's use orange for this one. So 0 0.4938 is this area, right? Okay, that area. And okay, there. And 0 0.3849 is this area, right? So, if we're going to take this area from, okay, from this area from 0 to negative 2.5, what remains is this area here. Okay, that is what you are looking for. That's why. We're going to subtract these two areas. So 0 0.49, 0 0.4938 minus 0 0.3849. Okay, so let's use our calculator. 38 minus 0.3849. So the answer is... 0 0.1089 so if you're going to write the probability notation so you have the probability that your z is between negative 2.5 and negative 1.2 is 0 0.9 where that's 10.89 percent okay Next, okay, let's have number two. Find the area between z equals 0 0.5 and z equals 2. Okay, we can write this first into three digit form. So that's 2.00. All right, so same thing. You're going to locate this z values. So 0 0.75 is right here. Uh, 0 0.75 then 2 is here okay so draw a line then shade the area between these two z values so this is now the area that we need to solve so same thing you need to subtract the larger area and the smaller area so based here in the illustration, the larger area is from zero. It's always zero, okay? The base. Okay. So zero to two. And the smaller area is from zero to zero point seventy-five. So okay, let's find this area. So start with when you have z is equal to two. Okay, what is the area? Okay, so the area is, okay, where is 2? So 2 is here, 2.0. Last digit is 0, so that means this is your area. Okay, 0. Point, sorry. What's that? Ah, 4772. 4772. Well... Z equals 0 0.75 is, okay, first two digit is 0 0.7 here. 
there and last which is point five uh five sorry five okay match it so the area is zero point two seventy four zero point two seven three four we we'll subtract this area. We have zero point four seven seven two minus zero point two seven three four. All right. So what's the answer? So using the calculator, point four seven seven two minus point two seven three four. The answer is. 0 0.2038 okay all right uh, probability notation so you have probability that z is between uh, 0 0.75 so right from left to right you have two is 0. 2038 or that's times 100% 20.38% okay so let's shade okay say for example okay this one area is this area okay that's from 0 to Two, then here. Oh, sorry. Okay, I thought hindi siya nagan. Okay, from zero to zero point seventy five is this, and that with purple color. Okay, so if you're going to subtract zero to two, that area from zero to two, minus this one, this one, the remaining area is the area that we are looking for okay so that's why you always subtract all right so that's it for case number three so thank you for watching we'll continue on my next video for case number four bye